I'm Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. The entree for our dinner party is going to be chicken francese. It sounds French, but it's actually Italian. And it's one of our favorite dishes at our local Italian restaurant. And because they serve such generous portions, we always end up with leftovers. And that's how we discovered this is a dish you can actually make it the day before and reheat. And it's really, it, it, it works out very well. So I've got a chicken cutlet. This is a chicken breast that I've cut in half horizontally, but now I'm going to pound it just a little thinner to even it out. My handy mallet. And that looks pretty good. You're going to, depending on your guests, and you'll know their appetites better than I do, you'll want to figure about one to one and a half cutlets per person. So now that that's done, what we're going to do is dredge them into flour, to which I've added a teaspoon of salt and about a half teaspoon of pepper. And we're going to also dip them into beaten egg. Before I beat my eggs, I'm just going to use this whisk to combine the flour and salt and pepper. And then I'm going to give these eggs a good beating. So in my skillet, I have a generous tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I've got that nice and hot. So now I'm going to take one of my chicken cutlets, dredge it in the flour with the salt and pepper. Make sure that's well coated. Get that little tail there. And then I'm going to dip it in the egg. Just lift this up and let this drip off. Add it to my skillet. And do the same thing with the second one. You want it well coated with flour. You can see these have been pounded out nice and thin, so they'll only take a minute or two to cook on each side. Let that egg drain off, and then just add that to your skillet. As soon as you can see that has started to cook around the edges, it's time to turn it over. There it is, a beautiful golden brown just what you want. And just let it cook for about two minutes on the second side. These look cooked. They feel nice and firm, which is a good indication. So I'm going to transfer them to a paper-lined tray to drain, and I will continue cooking the rest of the chicken breasts. Once my chicken has all been cooked, I'm going to add about a half cup of white wine. And I want to reduce that for a minute or two to take away the raw taste of the wine. Just let that boil up. The little bit of flour that comes off the chicken will help to thicken the sauce very slightly. And now I'm going to add about a half cup of chicken stock. I'm using homemade, but you certainly can use canned. And we're going to let this cook and thicken for a few minutes. Once 
once that's reduced about half, you want to add about four or five tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. I'm going to stir that in and again let this reduce for a few minutes. And there you have the finished plate. Your chicken franchise, green beans and carrots, and roasted potatoes. So that completed our entree, chicken franchise. And that's the end of part four of our dinner part series. Watch for the next video, which will be dessert. And I know it's one you're not going to want to miss.